Hey everyone, welcome back to another video on SEO and keyword research and how you would actually go about starting your keyword research elements uh, or strategy, I should say, um, and what elements you actually require as part of that, right? In different phases of the research phase of the overall research phase. So we went over a bunch of stuff before going over organic research or the core keyword research, the organic research, the traffic analytics, and now we'll go over something known as like the backlinks analytics tool, right? So on, on SEMrush itself, and it's like, if you were to use a, if you were to get a free trial, right? How would you actually quickly use this, this tool to just grab the keywords you need, right? Grab all the information you need, especially if you're a startup or you're trying to, um, you're in the early days of carrying out keyword research for a client. But I mean, if you are consulting with a client or you actually are um, working for a client, and you need to carry out keyword research, I'd actually propose you know, buying an actual subscription to SEMrush. Of course, if you need a trial, um, I'll link it in the description below. But um, uh, I I tend to use this for keyword research often. It's really good. So is things like Ahrefs. But uh, yeah, for this, for the means of this tutorial, I'm actually going to use SEMrush because this is part of the process we actually run through when um, me uh, as a consultant and also my team, uh, how we actually run keyword research, right, for our clients. So where do we go from traffic analytics, right? So let's say, for example, we've got a bunch of competitor domains. Let's say we want to focus on client boost this time, right? So we, we did some competitor research on Neil Patel, single grain, you know, you want to run through all of these, by the way, so you can get some, you want to, not so all of those particular websites, they're just the ones I'm using as the example, but you want to actually go ahead and find like your top five competitors, uh, both direct and indirect and gather ideas like that, right? So for this purpose, I'm going to, because we're looking at backlinks and looking for potential backlinks to link back to your potential, to your domain and to your particular content, you can actually go and investigate, Hey, well, who's like, who's ranking to my um, competitors. So I'm going to go down here. I'm going to click on the backlinks analytics tool. And let's say I'm going to put in um, a potential competitor, right? And it will give you an actual score, right? Straight away of, Hey, what's the authority score behind client boost? Seems like they're doing pretty well. You know, at 52, uh, you've got 4.3 K. 4.3 thousand referring domains, 150,000 backlinks. Um, remember the referring domains is unique and the backlinks is the number of total backlinks. Uh, and then you've got the number of estimated visits uh, and the number of keywords, right? Um, so we're going to look at these specific uh, backlinks right now. So you can see that they've obviously have made uh, there's over time, they've had way more backlinks or people back uh, linking back to them. So they must be producing content having, they have some, probably a lot of, um, uh, outreach where they're actually going ahead producing content but also reaching out to people to say hey well can you link back to us to our work can you are we guest posting for them anything like that right so there's some there's various strategies in which you can get backlinks but here's some interesting stuff right you just go to backlinks and you can understand hey well where are these what are these backlink types you know a lot of them are text types which is great um it's something that you really want to get uh, you want to really, really ensure that you have like text styles, text style backlinks. And also the link attribute should be like follow. You can see that a lot of their um, backlinks are actually follow backlinks, right? So you can see that a bunch, if we scroll down, you'll get a snapshot or a breakdown of all the backlinks, right? That they actually have at the moment. And this is where you can start to gather ideas, right? So as you know, next on it was the backlinks analytics tool. So, so we can determine, you know, what publications and what what websites we want to reach out to as part of our backlink strategy um, so that we can see if they can get a link back to us. Why would you actually go ahead and um, and and try to get links back to your, your domain? Let's say you're just starting out for the client. Let's say that it's a startup, you're a startup and you need to increase your domain authority. Well, first off, when you produce content, you know, if it's a very competitive piece, um, a keyword that you're trying to um, write an article for or produce an article for or trying to rank for, it's going to be very difficult to rank for that. Um, and also, especially if you're competing against higher authority domains, uh, and let's say they're producing already producing a ton of content, it's very hard to sort of outrank them. So what you want to do is get backlinks over time, right? You want to first write as much content as you can consistently and of a high quality and make sure that you are answering all objections all questions that your potential client base would ask or anyone looking for that information related to your business. And then also, if you want to be seen as an authority, you want to educate people around the intricacies of your industry and specifically 
around your product solution and any other um, topics that arise there, right? So when you do that well enough and you do that consistently, you then realize that the number of keywords you're ranking for increase and therefore the potential in which you can backlink, you can get backlinks also increase, right? Um, so as part of your outreach campaign, you want to come here and actually understand, hey, well, for this potential particular competitor, where are they getting majority of their backlinks from? So you can see that, you know, uh, client boost has a backlink from uh, this particular article and that's coming right back to the client boost website the home page um, content from a content marketing guide you know coming right back to um, the client boost ppc facebook ad examples I'm not sure why it's linking back to here but there's probably something relevant but let's go last scene um, and we're going to go for the most recent ones right so i want to go for all the follow ones because follow actually pass on from SEO, follow actually pass on some link juice, right, to a particular domain that they're linking to, which is always great. So here's one last scene. Two hours ago, you can see this was implemented at on the 30th of March this year. So, you know, how to create your first low budget Facebook ad, right? And this is from Kimberly Afonso, Afonso, um, dot com on how to create your first low budget ace Facebook ad. And she, she, this site has actually linked to client boosts, PPC, Facebook ad mistakes page, right? So you can go ahead and let's say you're writing something on Facebook ad mistakes. And let's say that you actually notice that, Hey, well on Facebook ad mistakes, let's say I'm creating this because obviously this is based off of my example. Um, I want to create a, I want to create a guide on Facebook ads. I want to talk about how to like create your first low budget Facebook ad or whatever, um, or something to do with Facebook ads, like the ultimate guide or whatever. And I talk about um, how to create that first low budget one and what mistakes to avoid. I can then seek out, you know, any gaps in their particular content that I feel like, hey, we fill the gap and you can either suggest for them to add it to theirs, or you can just say simply, you know, write a short introductory paragraph into their um, insert into their actual article and link back to ours because we cover that that portion of mistake uh, that portion um of content on our domain and um it will definitely if it's a follow link it'll be great because it will also showcase that um it will showcase to google that our domain is actually highly authoritative because we're going to link back a link back from a particular domain i'm not going to lie but you know, you got to look at the authority score. So um, this isn't a particular domain that I would choose at the moment, but I would like go for other domains, right? So if we talk about, let's go, let's go for all and let's just find an example where it's like a really high domain. So like design rush, right? So getting a high authority link, you can say, hey, I'm going to get listed on, I want to somehow get listed on top e-commerce development companies, uh, this company list, right? On design rush. So you maybe can reach out to design, design rush and actually see, how to get yourself list, listed as part of that. So this is how you'd actually go ahead and, and run uh, some research on where to get the backlinks from, right? Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. And you'll be on your way really with these small, uh, really these small steps, right? In actually going forward to understand, hey, what kind, what kind of partnerships could I create with someone? Um, these pub, what publications actually fit the bill, what I do and where can I provide the most value? If you go and try to build links with people that you can actually go and exchange real, val real value with, then they're going to def they're going to most likely they would actually go ahead and help you out and, and link back to you so long you help them. So maybe you want to go ahead and guest post for them or write something specific, um, or maybe you want to link back to them on a particular topic they really enjoy writing about and they can do the same. You know, there's a, there's a bunch of ways that you can actually go ahead and exchange values, uh, value. But this is how you would actually go and research, you know, what sort of links you can potentially link to in your future backlink campaigns. So if you did like this video, you know, please hit the like button because then this could sort of help the YouTube algorithm sort of expand the reach of this video to other people that really need to see this or really want to see this and need help with this. Otherwise, if you want to see more videos like this in the future, you know, hit the subscribe button. Otherwise, if you have any questions or anything, drop them in the comments below. Otherwise, I'll see you in the next video where we'll continue this tutorial on the competitor research portion. Take it easy. See you soon.